guys welcome to today's video now I've had many of you guys suggest different videos for me and I am working on getting more videos out for you guys but today I wanted to focus on Kiwi Kiwi is my green budgie she's four years old and when a lot of people see her for the first time oftentimes they would ask me what does she has on her nose now that's actually the nicest way of saying it because some people have given me very bad comments because of it i say nose you could also say seer whichever term you prefer i say seer but some people may not know in bird terms what seer is it's her nose so kiwi has a condition called hyperkeratosis now if you look closely Something on her seer protrudes outwards. What that actually is, is dead skin. Hyperkeratosis is basically abnormal thickening of the outer layer of the skin. And it's not only just for parrots or birds, whether that be domesticated or in the wild. It could also affect, you know, wild animals that are not birds. It could also affect domesticated animals that are also not birds. So, let's say a cat or a dog. You know, if we were to talk about kiwi situation specifically, it affects her seer and not her legs. At one point, I did have to have a vet visit because I did assume that she might be getting early signs of it on her legs. But no, she doesn't. Kiwi right now is four years old. She's close to being four. Around November, she'll be four. And she basically had it all her life. And I know the next question people are going to ask me is, can you get rid of it? Technically, you cannot. Now, some people will say it is diet related. Now, in our case, we have had blood work done to see if she was actually vitamin A deficient. And she isn't. I've also expressed many times that if your bird has any kind of condition and if it's fixable you're in luck so if i did actually have a vitamin a deficiency problem i would actually be more than happy but it's not it's actually due to her genetics which means she will for the most part will have it for the rest of her life and it's not going to affect her lifespan in any in any way but i do have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't grow too large because obviously um the dead skin blocking her airways could be a concern if your bird has it on its legs or feet you may want to put i wouldn't call it a special ointment just like an organic oil so coconut oil or organic palm oil they are great choices to use it's always best to ask your vet because i don't want someone just putting oil on their bird and not knowing what the hell's going on so make sure you know that your bird actually medically has hyperkeratosis if your bird like my bird like kiwi if your bird has it on its seer what i would do for the first two times or so i actually put like um coconut oil for a period of uh, i think four to five days like just a little dab and it became very easy to remove but now since she's used to it i'll put a little bit of oil and then i'll remove it myself it's actually very easy if we are going to our vets i'll put a little bit of oil and then by the time we, we reach our vets it's a bit soft also you don't have to put oil it's just that it becomes soft and moist so it becomes easier it's not necessary it just also makes it a bit more comfortable for your bird i will remove it once or twice a year sometimes three times it's never been four times it's nothing that serious also it's quite easy it's not like her nails i don't know if you guys have had parrots but removing my bird's nails is a pain but the sear like the dead skin on her sear is actually really easy so before i end the video i do want to say that i had a lot of people giving me nasty comments about kiwi's looks and also accused me of being a bad parrot owner some also said she was ugly which i don't know why anyone would call another animal ugly but you know obviously i can understand that while others assumed i was just you know a horrible person some said she was dying some also suggested i take her to emergency vet care she has seen many vets uh, 
you know, I go to one vet, but then every time I go to my vet, there's many vets there. There's not just one avian vet. And each time I might see someone different, they all know about her condition. So I just hope that this video at least will give more awareness about her condition and also help people to understand that she's just a little bit unique. If you guys do want to see a video of me removing it, I can show it to you guys, but I kind of have a gut feeling that people are going to really dislike that video because reality is it kind of looks like professional nose picking but I wouldn't necessarily call it a good experiment for my bird so people might look at it and be like you're torturing your bird but actually I have to remove it. If you guys do want to see a video obviously I will have to wait for it to grow out a bit more and then I could show you guys. The clips I'm showing you guys are a bit older clips because those just show her condition a bit more so this is the end of the video i hope it was a bit more educational uh, have a nice day guys bye bye